Hey y'all, so I'm about to share a very vulnerable moment with you. A couple days into finding out about our third child, officially, like got the positive test. And in my video, how I knew that I was pregnant before the positive tests, I'm very bright and, you know, hopeful and, you know, good energy and all those things, but I, also felt convicted to share this part as well because as i talk through in this clip um god gave me the assignment to share all of the pregnancy and it's crazy how quickly we forget the hard moments once we release them so even when i recorded the how i knew i was pregnant video i was four months I'm currently five months pregnant. So this moment happened months ago and I didn't even remember it until I'm here, you know, working through all the content and bringing you the documentary of it all. So if you are feeling anything close to how I'm feeling in this video that you're about to watch, um, keep watching to the end. So, just found out we are having baby number three technically baby four but my third pregnancy and God told me in the midst of me feeling all sorts of emotions and not even all good ones honestly like I knew <laughs> I already knew I was pregnant before I took the test I was already preparing myself, going through just things I know to do. And I was, I had peace in all of that. And then today I had a moment of just like being mad about it. Like, I'm going to have to go through pregnancy again. My last pregnancy was really hard. Like, postpartum was really hard. And maybe that's what I'm like trying to not like focus on because I'm more prepared than I've ever been to be an, a mom again to another child I'm more spiritually focused and just like as a person stronger than ever Mark and I are in the best place we've ever been in our relationship and our marriage and you know like I still felt like some anger about it and I don't know I think it's like as much as children are a blessing I'm not gonna lie like part of me is just like couldn't I just have just like a year off couldn't I just have like a break like couldn't I just like had been just like not physically literally attached to a child whether it be through pregnancy or breastfeeding just for a little while and so I was just talking to God about it and he said it's okay for me to feel the way I feel and that it doesn't disqualify me from being a good mom a great mom it doesn't it's just the reality of life and sometimes like God's plans and timing is just not ours and I have to be okay with that and I have to get that frustration out of me so that it doesn't become something else so he told me that this series of me documenting this pregnancy from start to finish and I'm going to show you what real pregnancy looks like, my experience, and how I'm filling this pregnancy with so much prayer that I know it's going to do what it's supposed to do in me. And so God has given me the assignment to share it with you as well. So I'm going to share all of the emotions, all of everything. Um, I'm gonna share. So, here we go. Here we go. 
that was a moment, okay? Like I was having a whole moment in the car that day. But before you go, if you're feeling how I was feeling in that, that clip, I wanna pray with you right now. And this is a prayer that I would give myself in that moment. Lord, you know what is in my heart. You know what is in the heart of every single person watching this video. Lord, we come to you humbly as your children with questions, with desires, with thoughts, ones that are ours and ones that are the enemy trying to trick us, trying to make us think negatively, God. And we ask you to remove those negative thoughts Remove the negative feelings in our hearts and in our minds, God. Give us and fill us with your peace, God, with a sense of, of contentment, Lord, with whatever your will is for us, God, regardless of our timing, of what we thought it was going to be, regardless of our will, God, we sacrifice our will for yours because we know in this we will achieve and understand what true life looks and feels like. Lord, we know that your ways are higher than our ways and your will is always for our good. So with our very low viewpoint of just in the moment of feeling frustration, anger, anxiety, depression, all of those things, God, we release them to you in this moment. And we ask you to instead give us all of your fruits. Give us your kindness, your peace, your joy. Lord, make it look like Make it look like we're not going through what we're going through. Not just look, but feel like we're not going through what we're going through. Because whatever the tough situation is, God, we know that it's all about mindset and what's in our hearts. So God, we thank you for the ability to have access to you. And we honor you for being our provider, for being our father. A good father who never lets us down. Who's always there to make sure that we're taken care of who loves us beyond understanding and who loves our unborn and born children like beyond what we could ever mentally understand. Your love is bigger, bolder, and can carry everything that is weighing us down, God. We release those things to you in Jesus' name. We love you and we thank you. Amen. All right, y'all. Hope that blessed you. Hope you are leaving this video feeling better, feeling renewed, feeling joy. Have a blessed day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.